Hi, Dion. Um, you know, the obvious question here, have you ever experienced something quite like that, a loss that maybe galling's the word? Um, no. Uh, no. This is a, it's a different year, so uh, it's going to be different. But this one, th and this one hurt, and this one hurt. Uh, I've never felt anything but like this, but the good thing is, is that I know what this feeling feels like, and uh, my teammates do too. And uh, the good thing is that we can learn from it, we can move on, and uh, we can never get back to, to this feeling ever again. After you scored the go-ahead touchdown, you're on the sidelines, and you know Murray's over there and the receivers they have. Was there any nervousness on the sideline because they still had time to score? I wouldn't say nervousness, no, but 60-minute uh, game. It's a 60-minute football game. Uh, until that clock says zero, it, it isn't over. And uh, they obviously showed that today. Uh, they have a great quarterback, great receivers. They have a great team. And uh, – you know, until that clock hits zero, it's never over. Okay, thanks, Dion. You're welcome. Hey, Dion, it's John. Um, does it add to it knowing that a lot of times you can put it behind you because you got a game next week? Now this, you have a full week off to to have to sit on this one. Does does it maybe make it sit there even more? Uh, well, the good thing, John, is that uh, is that we're pros, and we understand that there's going to be a winner, there's going to be a loser. And uh, in this case, we, we ended up short on, a, on, the last, on the last play of the game. And uh, we're going to go in, we're going to look at the film, we're going to get graded hard, we're going to critique ourselves extremely hard, we're going to be hard on ourselves, and then we're going to move on. And uh, the, the good thing is, is that this wasn't the, the Super Bowl, and um, we still have plenty more games to play. Um, you know, of course, and we look to win every game, but this isn't the Super Bowl, and uh, we just got to execute until then. Not to get lost is, is the drive you guys had to go up um, with 34 seconds left in the game. I, I know we ask you a lot about Josh and, and certain moments, but uh, he, he wasn't as sharp. You know, he had a couple turnovers, but still was there at the end. I mean, is this just another step in his – evolution showing that, that, that this year he, he's taking a leap more than than steps forward so just to correct you there john like you just said that that he wasn't sharp as you know, sharp as sharp listen hey listen dog that's our guy that's my guy and uh he put us in a position to win he got us up when we needed him to and uh it's never supposed to be perfect you know just because uh there's an interception or 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 there's a negative play, it doesn't mean, and he's not sharp. It just means that the defense just got the better play. Um, that's our guy, that's my guy, and uh, and we ride for him. So, uh, sorry, but not as sharp that 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 is far and from it. Because as you've seen, everybody was at the highest of the high. And then one play, we were at the lowest of the low. And uh, he's sharp. He's going to remain sharp. That's our guy, that's my quarterback. Appreciate you, man. Thanks. Yeah, appreciate you, John. Hey, Dion. Josh here. Um, What's up, Josh? The um, ha Have you ever been involved in, like, a gut punch like this, the, this type of ending to a game where it's just, like, <laughs> just, like, yeah, just kind of disheartening a little bit? No. Uh, it hurt, you know. It was, a, it was a Mike Tyson haymaker, and, you know, it hurt. But – the good thing is, is that I know what, what it feels like and my teammates do too. So uh, this is a feeling that we never want to feel again. So I guarantee you with the guys that, that we have here, um, we'll never allow this feeling to occur again. Stefan Diggs made a comment about Cole Beasley during the week that nobody can guard him. Uh, it looked like it, especially on that last drive. He did. Cool. Uh, the rhythm that Allen and Beasley seem to get in, you know, how much mm -hmm. fun was that to kind of watch on that last drive? Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, I love this team, Josh. I really do. Uh, we have so many players that Diggs can say that about. And that was just one guy that Diggs has said it about. I'll back it up. Diggs, uh, Diggs knows 
and Beasley is that guy. You know, he's been that guy for a long time. Um, and that's our guy, you feel me? Guys can't guard him. He's el elusive. He catches and the ball. He's he's a vet. And that goes from offense to defense to our entire team is filled with, with guys that perfect their craft. And Beasley is a guy that and perfects his craft and then puts his own flavor in it. And uh, I'm happy to call him. And my brother, I'm happy to call him my teammate, the unguarded bees. <laughs> Thanks, Dion. Have a safe trip back. Yes, thanks, guys. All right, Dion, you're good to go. Thank you. Yo, you're welcome.